Welcome back to Actual Edge, where we unlock the latest scientific breakthroughs. Today we delve into the fascinating world of the block and lock strategy, a potential pathway towards a cure for HIV. But before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video so more people can get to know us. Imagine a world where we don't need to eliminate HIV reservoir cells but instead control them, ensuring the HIV genes remain dormant, allowing us to coexist without viral replication. Post-treatment controllers individuals who received early antiretroviral treatment or so epigenetic silencing hinted at the potential of this strategy. Early treatment sometimes results in a smaller reservoir of intact proviral DNA, while chronic infection controllers may have inactivated HIV DNA due to natural epigenetic silencing, locking it away. Instead of activating dormant DNA as in kick and kill, the block and lock strategy aims to permanently prevent the transcription of HIV genes, rendering them inactive. Candidates such as the DCA have shown promise in laboratory experiments by inducing changes in proviral DNA, blocking its ability to produce new viruses even after ART withdrawal. Other drugs like kinase inhibitors and PD-1 agonists are being explored to maintain latency in reservoir cells, providing hope for new avenues in HIV research. Recent studies and the launch of global initiatives like HOPE signified a renewed interest in the block and lock strategy, paving the way for potential cures. Scientists speculate that using both strategies sequentially could lead to a functional cure, a world where residual HIV can be managed off ART. Stay tuned with Actual Edge for the latest developments in the quest for a HIV cure. Together we are unlocking new possibilities to end HIV. Don't forget to like, subscribe and to share the video. Thank you very much for listening and see you soon.